All right, mic check, mic check. Morning Masters podcast, your main, of course. Of course, me, I got a special guest. I'm going to go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Yeah, y'all already know, man. It's your boy, Big Boss, man. One, one of the boys from the Clash at the Round Table. What's good, bro? I can't call it. What's going on, bro? Not much, man. Um, well, you know, we're going to talk about some stuff in a minute, but I definitely wanted to first say um, shout out to you um, and the podcast. I see y'all, y'all doing well. Um, I definitely... I like when people that got podcasts actually have longevity. Yeah, yeah. Because um, then, you know, you're able to gain a, uh, I don't know, I said a deeper version of respect for them, you know what I'm saying? Not that I disrespect anybody that don't, that don't live long. It just like, <laughs> it made you feel like they were just bullshitting. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I, I like when people that start a podcast, whether it's good, bad, and I like to see the progress and like to see like them just get better at it yeah. week by week. And um, I definitely just can say, like, I just, out of truthfulness, like, from when y'all first started to now, it's like night and day. It's like way yeah, different. Like yeah. y'all, y'all mesh well. Um, the the topics change. Not and it's not even only sports now. Like y'all didn't. Yeah. At first, I feel like sometimes when people do a, a podcast like just based on sports, you kind of box yourself in because like y'all might like football, right? Y'all, yeah. I know y'all bigger football fans, but it ain't football all year round. Yeah. So like, what you gonna do when you know what I'm saying? Like most people, most people just stop, and then when you do stop, I found in this podcast and at least locally that they don't ever come back. Yeah. You know, so um, definitely hats off to y'all for appreciate doing that. Because um, I guess I mean ask you that for like how, how you feel like do you feel do you feel pressure podcasting like that like actually to be consistent and to keep going and dealing with people like you know you know me you yeah. know Slim people that that been doing it for a good while. No, nah, not really. I mean, it's just something you like to do. It's just sitting down talking trash to with definitely your, with your homeboy. So it's like I see you you got a lot of Josie guests on there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to get. I try to give back to people I know and stuff like that. I will say, I think y'all might have been the first. It might have been the first to have Bailey on y'all yeah, podcast. I think it was, yeah. yeah, and I thought that was dope. Um, I seen him on Moe's too. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, I mean, I ain't I'm not saying it wasn't dope. It just, it, like I said, with her not knowing sports, sports that yeah. way, it, it, it don't always make sense. But I think that they had a good conversation. I'll say that. Yeah. And I want to have more minds too, but I like to do it when it's right. Like, I'd rather do it like next year. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Like, y'all didn't ride a wave. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all did it before. Mm-hmm. It was even like, I, y'all did it before people even assumed Joe was gonna win. Yeah, yeah. They was I was still debating whether they're gonna be Laney or not. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like they got given Laney hump. So I like that for y'all. And I, I like that for him as well. So um definitely shout out to him. So just tell us tell a little about yourself for a cut. The stuff I want to get into, I wanna kinda build yeah. up and get into that. So tell us a little about yourself, just like you know, your upbringing, where you from. Uh where I'm from, um I grew up around all the road area. Oh, you from there and there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I never my, knew that. Yeah, that's where my mom and them grew up at, my grandma and all that. Okay. Uh, we grew up around there. Olive Road, baby. Yeah, and then we moved to uh, Kiss and Buy Road when I was like about 10, probably something like that. Around the corner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a bigger house, stuff, stuff like that. Two parents, household. You know what I'm saying? Both of my parents was always in my life, so. How was that different from like the other kids that 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 you grew up with around that time? I could, I could tell the difference because it's like certain stuff I can get, certain people can't really get. So it's right, like right. My parents always came to my games. They always been there. It's different, man. You can tell how people grow up and stuff. Certain stuff you do at school, you ain't gonna do. Could, could you tell that when you were younger, or just something like you look back on and be like, damn, that yeah, is, that was different. I can tell. Like my parents would tell me like, you you got two parents. You oh, bet, okay, bad, you bad. blessed to have that. So. Let me ask you, because people always had this question, like, because you're from Olive Road, so it's probably different from you. When you're from a certain place, you know, you don't, you never see it, like, like how outside to see it. Yeah. But on uh, Olive Road, right? It's a, um, it's a store. Yeah. It's a gas station over there. Yeah, yeah. See, you already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Glenda. Yeah. 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 Th- is that a dangerous gas station to you? Like, like, would you stop there to get gas? I mean, because people always, people, the, the, the question I wanted to ask yeah. was, people always make it the thing of like. Glendale gas station or yeah, Fox Den gas yeah, yeah. station. That, I guess which one if, is you, more dangerous? if you're not really from there, it's not really dangerous to you because you that's your up upbringing. So it's like if I'm a person not going over there, yeah, I'm not finna start there to get no gas. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I know everybody over there, so oh, okay. But, but as an outsider, yeah, you can outside, see. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You, you could you could tell. You might have family over there, or something yeah, like that. So uh-huh. like you good, but yeah. an outsider like they fresh meat. It's yeah, like whatever. Yeah, don't, I don't even stop. And I mean, I'm pretty sure stuff to happen to every single stranger that go there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm pretty sure when, they, when you got them people that out there on the bullshit, yeah. they, they you on can it. Tell, man, it's common sense. <laughs> if you see people out there at the store, you ain't gonna stop at the store. What, what's your limit? Like, so like, you know from Fox then. So let's say you go to the Fox. Like, yeah. what's your limit to like, like seeing people out front of the store? Like, like what make you like say, okay, 
I'm gonna get gas from here. I'm gonna just make this smart decision, go to yeah. the when Sprint they, or they, something else. When somebody start working to your car, that's for change. It's time to go. <laughs> yeah. I, feel like, I feel like the shot at Blue, but yeah, I ain't gonna get yeah. into that. I don't know what's wrong with Blue going over there. <laughs> yeah, because he's not even like that. But regardless of the fact, um, all right, so you grew up around that. So, like, all the schools you went to, like, around it, you, you went to every school. Because yeah. Olive Road, Kiss and Bow, that's still Josie era. That's yeah. still Josie, Josie's own. Yeah. So, what all the schools you went to? Uh, I went to uh, elementary. I went to Wilkinson Garden. Then I went to Murphy. Then Josie. Murphy, okay. Yeah. I know you went to Murphy. I seen pictures of that. Yeah. I never. I don't know what the other school you talking about is. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't go to elementary yeah. school. I don't know none of the elementary school besides the one that my brother and yeah. them went to. It's over there by uh, Quinoa, uh, YMCA, right, right there. Like, so why, why? What? Okay, okay, over there on that, um, mm-hmm. cr- on that. What's the name of that road? I can't think of it, but like Tum- down the street is that Balo yeah, or that, road that other, yeah. not Balo no more, but you know what I'm talking Harvey, about. Yeah. yeah, Harvey's or whatever. Okay, so that 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 school. Okay, yeah. it was wasn't it a while over there at one point. Oh, I'm tripping. Nah, it always been right there, Wilkinson Garden. No, oh, I, yeah, yeah, it was I, a while. It was okay. a while. Yep, yep. We used to hit the pool all, all the time right there. See, so tell me about, like, because, like, I would now, I'm not saying you're a project baby, of course, but, like, yeah, yeah. you one of them. You yeah, a Josie yeah, baby. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to just say that. Like, so, like, what was, like, you said hit the pool. So, like, tell me some of the stuff y'all did growing up. Because I, I, mean, I went to Josie, but I wasn't, yeah, yeah. I wasn't young around that time yeah. going there. I mean, we stayed in the neighborhood. We always played basketball at Smurf House. He always, he was like, the everybody go to his house to hoop. But then we'll just do what we do. Now, because of what we're gonna talk about later, I want to ask you this now. I wanted to make sure I segue into it perfectly. Like, so, how, what, like you, you personally, like, were you, um, as a, even as a kid, were you like overweight, or was it just like did it just come naturally? Like when you as the older you got, because yeah. some kids, like, I know that some kids would be chubby all their life. Yeah, yeah, I was I was small in elementary school. It's, I started gaining weight when I started playing football, sports, and stuff. Did you do it purposely, or it just kind of just happened? Yeah, I think it just happened because I mean, when you playing sports. You just eating fast food, you know what I'm saying? After the games, you just eat whatever. Got you, got you. It, it ain't no real regimen. Ain't no healthy yeah, regimen. Yeah. It's just like, but you want to get bigger because uh-huh. in, in that sport you got to be big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so even as so even even you being young, like so like six, I'm I'm assuming like sixth grade around yeah. that time, you started to get a little yeah, bigger. Yeah, big, yeah. So was it was it ever a problem though? Like you getting bigger or was it just like I play football so effort? Yeah, it. yeah, it's just like it's normal. Did you lift weights with it at all? Nah, just, I ain't lift no weights. That's not normal. Nah, that's that not ain't normal. normal no. right? <laughs> what you got going on? Yeah. <laughs> they, they ain't making it lift at Josie? Yeah, we lift weights at Josie. You know, I, I got a cousin, right? My cousin, his name is Joe. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I, I know Joe. Okay, that's my real cousin. I remember one year yeah. coming down here, and he was like, I ain't going to lie, he was like me. Yeah. And then next year I came, he got, yeah, 50 Cent. Yeah. Swear to God, like, yeah. I was like, what the f- so I always yeah. I just assume since it was a Josie yeah. that that's what y'all did at Josie. I don't know what he had going on to make him go from yeah, that to yeah, that. Yeah, he, he he worked out. He like NFL pro like Jaws. Like got you, got you. Yeah. Oh, so he was a real he's a real he's a real deal. Yeah, he was. See, a real I don't deal. know. I know him, but I don't yeah, know that. That was my guy. Oh, I right. used to be a manager for basketball, so I used to at the store here tell me, "Hey, go give him some blunt powder." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, you know how that go. <laughs> uh, you know, I know. Let me, let me ask you about that. Cause I, I know I joked on you about it, or whatever. But like. Like so, you like basketball, yeah. right? But you was the water boy. But you, I'm yeah. assuming you play you play football yeah. though. So what made you do the water boy though? Like what made you? I, I could have made the team for uh, Murphy, but I was like, it was too many people ahead of me. So I said, I'm a person. I'm not finna. I'm not finna ride no bench. So gotcha. If gotcha. I ain't starting, no, I'm not finna be no off no bench player. Is it safe to say you wanted to get in the games free? Cause you can't you can't get in the games free. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can't get in there. Like you got yeah. you got to pay, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, so that is smart. Okay, yeah. that's, that's I, smart. But I like yeah. basketball. You know what I'm saying? The coach Jackson wanted me to, to play really, but I was like, nah, I ain't going to play. I'm just. So, I, and, I, but I still play with the team, like with practices and stuff. And basketball, what you good at? Like, tell me, what, tell me about your game. Uh, posting on rebound. I don't know, man. I seen you. I seen, I seen, I seen you shoot around. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. That's how I shoot, man. I, I got a shot too, though. Well, we're going to see about that at some point. <laughs> um, so, talking about football, like, so you go to Josie. Yeah. What's your career like there? You ain't play at the you ain't play at the high school, right? Or you did? Nah, I ain't play. I played a little semi pro. Okay, so like, what's your career like at well middle school? Yeah, yeah I, I was I was good in middle school. I was uh, I played all sports: golf, football. I played a little baseball, but uh, football and golf was my two um, main sports. Okay. Yeah. And um, far as so baseball, you said football. Yeah, yeah I played a little bit of baseball, not too much though. Okay. Um, Josie, what, what was that like? What was your high school career I was, like? Yeah. I was pretty. I had some scholarships at Josie, but. So what like, and it's a, it's a lot of people like that. That my, my Joe was mm-hmm. like that. It's a lot of people like like what what is it about? In your opinion, this is not. I don't yeah. want to diss the school. Like I love Josie to death, yeah. but I'm gonna be real. What's it about Josie that 
they got they got the athletes. Yeah. They breed the athletes. They get the offense, but it's like people can never actually accept those scholarships that they get. It's the coaches. My, uh, I had a couple co- uh, college coaches say your, your your coach never gave us the film and stuff. He, mm. He'll break the film down. He won't. Some coaches don't don't even send it off. Yeah, they had their favoritism. So, do you think like now, like um, having like a, what's that joint huddle or something? Yeah, like it, that? it's different now because everybody got social media. We ain't had nothing back then. You're right. You're right. You're right. And that's I like I said I don't I didn't necessarily know I I knew one of your people I didn't I had a class with him yeah. which I'll get into in a second but um, when I was at yours I didn't want to be there at first so when I was there I didn't speak to nobody yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I, I mean the girls of course but like yeah, yeah. not people but then like once once like people started to know who I was cause I played ball I played I played ball too yeah. then I like I played in the neighborhood I was in Pine Walk whatever yeah, yeah. so people like PJ now when they see me outside they were like damn like. You, you you like yeah. this out here, but you don't want to talk. I'm like, I don't want to be there. Yeah. You know Truth is the same way. He can hoop too, but yeah, you know what's funny? It's he he can he's a hooper. He went to West Side, right? Yeah, he went to West Side. He went to Murphy with me too. You know what's funny, right? I played JV when yeah, I don't yeah. think he noticed. I played JV my, my when I went to Butler, and he was the point guard over there at mm-hmm. West Side. I remember because he 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 he's younger than me. Yeah, I'm 08. He might have been graduated 09. I don't know. But I remember that yeah. face. Yeah. No respect to truths. Mm-hmm. That's my guy. Yeah. Not the best looking face. <laughs> right? And he, he won the game. He didn't play bad, though. He, yeah. they, they played good. He played yeah. good. But he definitely got broke one time. And I remember him, like, hopping on one foot. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy named Darius. He had this, like, little move he could do. Yeah, yeah. And you would just fly over there. And he was like, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. I never forget that face. So when I saw him, I said, he looked familiar from somewhere. I don't yeah, know where from where. Yeah, Joe's a little bit, too. Got you. Okay. Okay. So shout out to Truth, man. Um. So, all right, so you're playing football. So, but you, I mean, in school, you're still getting bigger. Yeah. All right. Like, what's like, so what, it was never, never a, a thought, a question, a problem, nothing about your weight, like all through, all through high school. No, it was always no, high okay. High school, I was like 270, 280. Okay. Yeah. But, and that, that's good for the sport, though. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't yeah. know how to differentiate. I know, like, you got, they got this chart of yeah, height, yeah. weight that's, that, that nobody ever going to, not, it's not for black people at least. Mm-hmm. And then, but it's for health. It's a health thing, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, I, that's how I found out I had high blood pressure in, um, in high school. I couldn't play, mm. so I had to go see a doctor at MCG. So, but so that was like, would that? Would you say that like kind of like your first, first ever sign of like, okay, let me, yeah, yeah, try to. I thought it was do just healthy. Or, my parents told me it runs in the family, so okay. I just and started, that's I just that's, started numb. I was just trying to play ball. But that's definitely true when you when you talk about mm-hmm. black people. Like mm-hmm. it just it runs in the family. Yeah. Um. So. The semi-pro, like what? What made you do that? What made What made you do anything regarding football after high school? Get back. I just wanted to be in shape, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like myself, so I played semi-pro. They asked me to play, so I said I try it out. So I'm gonna assume. Cause I don't know. I'm just gonna. Assume, I'm gonna assume you always been like a jokester, like you joke yeah, a lot, right? Yeah. So like, the, even even coming up joking, like that was never a thing. Like. Yeah. Your weight, no, like that was yeah, never a nah. joking point. It was never nah. so you didn't grow up like feeling insecure. It wasn't nothing like you feel like I gotta lose weight now because yeah. da da da. Yeah, I was being a fly, fly fat person, so it's like I still was getting girls and stuff. So it's like, I mean, so you never had no issues, pretty much, and you was cool. Yeah, I was cool. So, I was like a dude off of what's the move? Get rich or die trying and fat boy. Oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> I want him, yeah, eight man, yeah. <laughs> I was okay. Little, yeah, something like that, man. Okay. Um, but did you ever embrace it? Like you was okay with whatever your weight was. You never like had a problem with it. I mean, I had a problem with it, but it's like, what can I do? I mean, I'm still gonna do what I do. So, well, I'm, when you say you had a problem, with, like, what was the problem that you felt like you had? I mean, you get jokes every day, like, you know what I'm saying you fat, or whatever. But, but that ain't bother you. Yeah, it just, bother it just me. something that yeah, you yeah, knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever feel like at some point in life that like, you was going to like, I'm gonna try to get regular size or? I don't know regular. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You had, I mean, you had your moments. Like you, you know what I'm saying. You had your moments. Like, I want to be like a certain size, but it's like. Was it ever a time you felt like you couldn't get a certain girl because you were too big? No, I never. Or felt you just like kind of felt like you, whatever girl you was, you like. That's just yeah. I never felt that way. It. Okay, okay. Um, when I got older, I think I felt that way. like I like damn, I probably. But when you got older, you got bigger, and you're not yeah, playing football anymore. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's another thing too. I think when you're playing football, not saying it's people excuse it, but it's yeah. like they don't. They don't bring it up, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like you playing football, so they just feel like that's that's yeah. proper with with the yeah. sport you're playing. Um, and normally, even if you are big, they just force you to play football anyway. Yeah. So it's like it's always it's always yeah. kind of a mask. I was, I was athletic though. Some people just slow and just you have your slow big boys, you have your athletic big boys. So, I mean, I want to kind of get into it now. So, in, in 
post high school, all this stuff. Like, what, what would you say, like, the biggest, or no, I don't know, I don't know the, what the right word is. I don't know if it's in biggest or yeah, how much the mo- in, in life, like, what's the life? biggest you ever been? Probably last year with COVID, bro. Yeah. Oh, you gained more weight. Yeah, See, I, I didn't know that. Like, when I went to the doctor, I was like, damn. Did you not know because, like, every day you just with yourself, so you're not yeah. feeling yourself get heavier or nothing like uh, that, just, like, just, whatever. When you drive trucks, man, you you going to gain some weight if you don't watch what you eat. And then you drive trucks. Damn, yeah. I didn't even think about this. So, you, COVID, you drive trucks. Yeah. And then you already got a certain metabolism anyway, yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. you already going to gain weight anyway, yeah. easily, probably. But up until that point, that last year, you never... Like, do you ha- how many times have you tried to lose weight? Like, in the past, like, I'm going to do this, and then you just stop, yeah. or? Uh, good little man. I, I just stop. I just, like. What make you stop, like? Some, kind of, some come up, vacation. Oh, or, okay, okay. Some happen, some come up. I know, because, like, for, for, for somebody, like, not me, because I, yeah. I don't do that, but some people, they might, like, lose 10 and be okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or they might, they might get their body down right, and yeah. then that quick, yeah, just go happened, back. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But they do do it. yeah. But you had you had instances where you you wanted to do it, yeah. But you just yeah. You just, I, I think I didn't know how to like eat properly. That was my biggest thing. Was it anything um, outside of that that you think like? Do you think because you wasn't playing sports as much? Like how you how you looked at it? Like I know some people are like, well, damn, I wish I yeah. when I was in high school I played sports when I I lift weights I did this I, yeah. I was always active so it wasn't as bad. But then now like you're an adult now. Yeah, it's like you ain't gotta do nothing but go to work and yeah, pay your bills. Yeah, that's all. That's all I was doing. Just working. You know what I'm saying? You going to different cities, you getting truck starts, you eating what you want, you making money. What was your favorite meal eating? Like I, I never and the funny funny yeah. thing about it is I never seen you eat. I've never yeah. seen you eat. You know what I'm saying? So like like what's your I am not gonna lie, before you can't start by Popeyes. Yeah. But I said, nah, I ain't gonna do that because yeah. he on a good path right now. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna Oh, it's my cheat day today, so. Nah, see, nah, nah, yeah. do it, do it with your wife. <laughs> don't do your cheat day with me. Don't, I don't wanna get you in trouble. Yeah. I don't wanna hear it later on in the train, <laughs> eating chicken. So what was your what was like your favorite meal that you just know you I shouldn't eat but you just used to eat the hell out of it? Probably when my mama cooked, man, some fried chicken. <laughs> mama cooking? Yeah, I love my mama <laughs> fried chicken, boy. Yeah. Okay, oh, um, so I'm a big sweets person. That's what get me too. Mm. Well, like what, like 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 I candy? Love, I love cake. Oh, okay, yeah, I love good cake. on it. I can eat this right here. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't really like candy like that. All right, cool. I, I don't candy like it's like Reese's and stuff like that. I got some of those, no, but I ain't gonna give you no. no. Good, I got good. the mini joints. I had. I ain't gonna. I had to re up. Ain't no candy in the studio. Yeah, I had to re up. I'm good. <laughs> My bad. I ain't trying to, you know, tease you. I but um, straight. so your mama fool. Your mama knew that, huh? Your mama knew that. She ain't no trying to make you like eat no fish or. I mean, my mom cooked veggies and stuff, but I mean, you ain't eating that. You, you eat, veg, you eat veggies? Yeah, I like veggies. now, but before you. Yeah, ate I love. I oh, like okay. collard greens and stuff like that. It's just sugar I, I was intaking. I I had to do my research on stuff like that. So um. I guess I want to get into that. What uh, in, in, in from whenever, like, what was the turning point where you was like, nah, this is I'm, this too yeah. much. I gotta, I gotta get right. Yeah, I had a health, I had a health scare at a doctor. So, um, they had they had diagnosed me with diabetes. So I was like, nah, I can't do this, man. I said I'm thirty or something years old, but the lady at the doctor told me the wrong resort. So I still had to stick to. It. I was like, I ain't, I ain't finna even try to even go back. So. That so was, even getting the wrong result just made yeah. you be like, nah, let me get yeah. right because mm-hmm. it could it could possibly be the right result yeah, at yeah. some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like you on the, on the borderline. And so that's when I start like I'm going hard. So how, like when you did you, 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 you like dive right into it or I dive right next day I'm I'm, I'm I'm cutting out everything I eat, bro. The I, next day, yeah, I like I, you, uh, do you, so you even have no like no last meal yeah, type. It's, it's like it's like you gonna live or you want to die. I don't want to die right now, so it's like you gotta you gotta go hard. And then people dying from left and right from COVID and stuff. So it's like, I need, I need to change this around. Were you scared? Yeah, of course you scared. Why? If you ain't scared, I mean, come on. Who, who, who? What parents want to bury their kid? And I know that you married. Mm-hmm. Like, so what was that conversation like with your wife? Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, how she felt about it. Yeah, she was supportive. She was like, I should, I should get go to another doctor to get a second opinion. And I was just down on myself. I was like, man, maybe they right. At this time, you still doing a podcast and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. That's that's crazy because like I know I, for me, I use my podcast to yeah yeah. You know, well you, you listen to it a few mm-hmm. times. Like I'll, I'll release on it every now yeah, every yeah. now and I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I I probably go a little too hard, but I release yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's like therapy to me. Yeah. 
And I never mentioned, I never seen you like just mm-hmm. go like this. Yeah, I never been a person like that. I don't never show no emotion. I was even surprised. I was like, he might not want to do it because, and that's why, that's why I didn't want to tell you what it was about. Yeah, I was oh, like, just it's meet fine. me. Yeah, you know yeah what everybody keep asking me about, it, so I was like, I, I don't mind talking about it. But you know, for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I was, I'm, I was more happy, shocked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Than anything, because I don't see you often. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And. I remember how you looked the last time I saw you. So when I saw yeah. the before and after, I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I didn't even know. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like it looked no, but you can. And like, don't get me wrong. It's not like you like skinny and all like that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But it's the, fa- the fact of the matter is, like, when you see where you was at mm-hmm. and where you at now, it's yeah. like, damn, that's. I still that's, got a long way to go. But though, you yeah. still, but but yeah, but I like to give people they like the flowers on small mm-hmm. wins, even though that, to me that's a big win. Yeah, yeah. But a small win just because you know kept the consistency up. Kept doing it. I see you um, yeah. doing stuff on live, um, whether you go live or you know you put on Instagram, yeah. or whatever, shooting the ball, just everything yeah. I see you doing got something to do with like losing weight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I know you're taking it seriously. Yeah. But when I seen that, I said, "Oh, I gotta have more. I gotta talk about this." Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, a little, a little frustrated with you a little bit because like I see that it was, it was like you had a little mini rival thing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Going with your with your tweet, but I didn't see you like sometimes. I don't know if you've seen, but people wait when they got a viral tweet, they be like, "Hey, I ain't got nothing going, but do this or go like yeah. this." I ain't see you saying about the clash, man. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? What, what, why he ain't? I put one up there, but I'm just happy in life, right now, bro. It's like, nah, I ain't mad at you. I'm just yeah, saying, I was, like, yeah. I was like, he better, he better put it on. I, yeah, I checked I, today. I seen it today, but I ain't yeah. see it a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. But so, not to tell you, you know, mm-hmm. false diagnosis. What do you do? I know you say you hit the ground, you hit the ground running, and the yeah. next day you just went ahead and went hard. Yeah, but like, what exactly did you do? Like, give me a like, breakdown of me. Some of the things you did, starting from when you first started to things you changed in the middle of this process yeah. up until like now. I went on YouTube. I find I try to find videos like what I can do, like the the beat that beatings. I find a page. It was this dude, white dude. He was telling you what can you do, what 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 you need to eat, what you don't need to eat. I looked at it for like a whole night, just researching, doing stuff. And then I just went in the lab, and just. So you ain't do this with a trainer. No, nah, I did it's, it myself. It's all on you, yeah, all on, you. All on myself. Damn, that's that's one of the questions. I was gonna ask you who trained you. I was gonna try trained. to get him some, 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 nah. you know, some, some publicity. Yeah, but no nah, you just so you really went full throttle with it. Like you mm-hmm. was like, look, I want to live, so mm-hmm. yeah. I'm going hard, and you did everything on your own. Yeah. Did you like what what food you cut out? Like what what didn't you eat? Like give me your food yeah. regimen type type. No thing. sugar. I, I used to love Gatorade. So I no like, what? Gatorade. Gatorade got like a lot. No of No sugar. sugar. No sugar. That. It, you can't have no sugar. That's that will make you gain weight. Well, you know, I, 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 yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't. Yeah, you got no cause. You, not yet. I'm, I'm getting older. I, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I feel it now and then, yeah. but now I know yeah. no sugar. I, I can't do that yet though. Yeah, I'm gonna try. If you did it, I'm gonna try to do it yeah, now. I'm you give me Gatorade, motivation. Forty-seven grams sugar. See, That's I'm not gonna lie. Sugar, man. Like, I, said, I don't even know what that. Like, I don't yeah. even know. I know the gram is, but not of yeah. sugar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking about smell. So, but so that much that much amount of sugar. Yeah, that's crazy. Candy is about two hundred. And you something. love sweets. Yeah, I cut all that out. Damn, I, you went full throttle. You just you just yeah. said one day, just like nah, this ain't it. This ain't mm-hmm. me. F it. How long? Like 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 when when you got just like tell me around time. Like do you remember like when it was you got your scare February of this year? Mm-hmm. Time out. So you mean tell me all this way? It's all this year. It's not. Yeah. It's not a. Cause you know when you were saying it, right? I remember mm-hmm. the time you were saying it. I'm like, nah, shut up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I always feel like I always try to test people. So I like to make yeah. bets. I like to do certain yeah, things to so try to push them, whatever. And I remember you saying that around that time. Mm-hmm. And I remember you saying you're gonna lose 100 pounds. You said it was, it was some kind yeah. of thing you gave yourself by mm-hmm. a certain date. I don't know if you made that date, but I know you got yeah, 200 yeah, yeah, pounds yeah. now. So, um, but that process. So, what like was it hard? Like you know, what I'm saying, like, tell me, like, was there any days you felt like I need, I wanted to quit? You go, like, was it every day? Cause you tell me you got cheat days. So yeah, it wasn't hard, cause I, it's like it's life or death. Like, if you want something, you are gonna do it. So it's like I'm not finna go back to where I was and try to get diagnosed with diabetes. So I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna be sticking myself at no 30 years old. So what other stuff did you do? Like, I, like, I, I'm, yeah. I'm even trying to break it down because I want people that's watching this or looking at this, right? To see this, yeah. and I know people can get inspired because I'm already inspired by, yeah. by the story now. But I'm also thinking about okay, you get this news, you don't go go to the trainer, you mm-hmm. go watch something on YouTube, which everybody do this, so that's fine. Yeah. And then from there, you just go. Like, so I need to know from that day on, like, what, what did going consist of? Like, give me like yeah. a weekly thing. Uh, Sunday, I go to the store, I get everything I need for the week. Uh, I meal prep for the whole week. I go to the see what all I need. 
what I'm gonna have to is Friday. Saturday is my cheat meal, so I try I try to and that was my problem too. I didn't haul it. Us big people, we don't really eat too much. When we eat, we overeat. So one meal is not gonna cut it. So I, I eat three times three to five times a day. You got your breakfast, uh, you got your lunch, you got your snack at like one or two o'clock. Then you get home, you work out for a little bit, walk around the corner, you gonna eat. Uh, probably around like seven, then probably around like eight o'clock. You maybe get a snack or something like that. And water, water is your best friend. You need to drink a gallon of water a day. That was my best friend. So you drink a gallon a day? Yeah. Did you ever drink more than a gallon? I try not to. Why well, is, is it drinking too much? Is it? Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You want to try to be a gallon. Now, with the food part, right? Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people that got different things going yeah. on. Was it certain things you just didn't eat? Now, besides, yeah. take sugar out of it. Like, yeah. I'm talking about like chicken. I'm talking about the real stuff. Chicken, yeah. steak. That stuff I kind of like. Yeah. Like, would you, did you still, would you still able to eat that? Yeah. I, I, I mean, I still eat like red meat. I just like put it in the oven. Like, you still can eat regular food. Oh, you just baked it. Yeah. Like, not fried like, chicken. Yeah. Like meatloaf. You still can eat meatloaf. Just put ketchup on low sugar ketchup, green beans. Just cut the potatoes out. You still can eat regular food. You still can have pizza. You just got to get the cla- cauliflower flour pizza. You still can eat chicken wings, put in the air fryer. You still so, can mix oh, it up. So you, you, so you still can eat stuff that you like. It just, yeah. It's just about how you cook it. Mm-hmm. And it's how you cook it, how okay. you make it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I asked that question because I know people that's vegan yeah. and stuff, and they more they not vegan to lose weight. They just vegan to yeah. live a, yeah, a longer yeah. life, just like you, mm-hmm. a healthy life. Mm-hmm. But I do know vegans like um, my guy, um, I don't want to call him one day, so uh, my guy Jason, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, Jace, um He's he's uh, he's a bigger guy, you know, yeah, big yeah. guy. But he don't eat meat. He eat yeah. he eat he eat vegan. Yeah, talking about spending twenty dollars at Taco Bell to, for two burritos. I don't know why yeah. why they want to do that, but I guess it costs more to eat healthy. Yeah, but he he's not like small, and he yeah. he ain't got no small since yeah. I saw him. I'm like, damn, you don't eat meat, yeah, nothing. Yeah, Lizzo like that too. <laughs> he compared to Jason to Lizzo. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I just said she's like kind of vegan. <laughs> Like you still can be a big vegan. I didn't but. know she was big. Like I don't even follow Lizzo news because yeah. she's complaining about her weight too much. And yeah. I, like so, like you, mm-hmm. somebody like you, right? You no, know, I never heard you complain about your weight at all. You always embrace it, honestly. Most mm-hmm. people I know that's big and that's cool with they with this yeah. and they're cool with they sell. They embrace it. Yeah. But when the time came for you to not like whatever was going on with your mm-hmm. health and your weight, you did something about it. Yeah. So that's I like. I'm okay with people like that. Mm-hmm. I can't deal with the people that just. Yeah. Feel make one make anybody feel sorry for themselves. Like nobody telling you to eat yeah. that chicken every day. Yeah, I understand. It's a females more emotional than the dudes. True. Like certain True. stuff, I I can't say to my wife, and I say to you, she'll get like in her feelings. Okay, so got you. You got to know the difference between. That's how I had to learn when I got married, bro. Like I got to learn certain. I stay certain st- stuff I say to like you or my wife. Yeah, they, gotcha. get, they get emotional. Right? I want to make it make it clear. He didn't say nothing to me. If your wife is watching, he didn't <laughs> say nothing about you at all. <laughs> yeah. He just making an example. Yeah. Um. I matter of fact, I want to ask you a question. It's ain't nothing to do with that, is but it's yeah. a, uh, it's, a, it's a marriage question. I hope I don't put you on the spot like this. Good? Ain't nothing like that. Um. But I seen a meme. I shit out the day. I don't know if you like that. Now I don't be knowing sometimes, but it says something like um, when my wife or my girl phone is unlocked, I just lock it back because I got no problems already. Yeah. So like. Cause I never asked you no marriage question. Yeah, yeah. Like, how are you? Like, if you seen your wife's phone and it was unlocked, like, what would you do? Remember you on camera now too. Yeah, yeah. Like, what would you? <laughs> what would you do? Like, you locking it back? You, say, you trying to lose weight? Fuck, I ain't got time yeah, for yeah. it. Or, cause that's that's another way to lose weight. Nah, I trust quickly. my wife, so it's like she know my passcode. I know her passcode. Oh, that's sweet. We we grown. Why I need to go on the phone like that? See what's going on. I mean, why? I need but you to. trust her, so you okay with it? I mean, I paid the bill, so I got the call off. I need to do all that. Ooh, so. okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't man, need to do all that, man. That, that was a real husband I, answer. I yeah, like that. Like, Why well, need to do all that for? You're a true husband, bro. Yeah. That's a, he said, I pay the bills. So if I want to do all that, if, you know. <laughs> you shouldn't be in a relationship if you feel that way. I agree. I agree. But I also yeah. feel like, you know, for me at least, I think, like, something that yeah. is innocent to one person mm-hmm. might not be innocent to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I get the I get the meme of not wanting them problems, but I also get you by saying yeah. trust like. Yeah. But me trusting that yeah. individual, will, I'll be okay with not yeah. seeing a problem. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like, like you said, I think that's one of them things. Like yeah. if you do it, you probably don't trust the person. Yeah. But then also, I feel like it's so much the same. Like yeah. you know, they say uh, 
if you go looking for it, you'll find it. So it's just it's like a lot of yeah. sayings. But you got that. no kind of chick you dealing with for you even. That is true. Take it serious. That you know it's funny. That's true. I think anybody I ever took seriously yeah. always been into me and never had no mm-hmm. problems. Like if, it might be something I see that I don't like, mm-hmm. but it's never on that person's end. It's just like another person yeah. outside and if you're trying to get at it or whatever. But mm-hmm. you know that's something different. Only only people I, if I, I ever had any kind of like trust ish, issues things with people I didn't really. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really care for anyway. Yeah. But you just make it feel that way so you can end it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, how I got to go. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but back of that, um, so, all right. And what, like, so how how much did you weigh at the time of uh, you saying, not saying, but at the time of you making the decision of, I got to get right? Yeah. Fairway, I was like 450, bro. 450. Yeah, get I, the fuck out of here. I, I, I don't even look like it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you because I, I yeah. with, with with somebody like you out, and I've always anytime I talk to y'all, always kept it real, even if it's like something yeah. negative, or whatever. Yeah. You know, when we talk, or whatever, and I, and I, you know, I'm talking about the the podcast. Like I said, y'all came a long way. So I remember watching this time and thinking, like, damn, that's crazy. Like those two big dudes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm gonna be honest. I'll be yeah. like, that's a and this it's the table. Yeah, Slim got this table. <laughs> Slim got this kind of table. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> and, I, and then I, as I was setting up today, I'm like. What size should you sit on? Cause I don't want to make it uncomfortable. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's like I can tell you lost weight because either side would have been fine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like so, um, I, I I look at that and I'm like, all right, cool. These these big dudes, but you know yeah. whatever. But you know I try to make sure I don't look at that. I look at the I want to look at the content y'all put yeah. out. It is hard to do that sometimes, so I rather listen to it. Cause like sometimes watching, I feel myself. I'm like, yo, he big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, um, seeing a picture from the before and then after, I was like, damn, like. Yeah. I used to say you was big. Yes, yeah, you're in the wrong spot, baby. I think it, hey, hey. Yeah, I think it's in the back. That was wild. Yeah, I'm not gonna. They've been a lot me in, but I had, I had, I got boxing before here. But anyway, I'm glad I got that on camera too. That's crazy. That never happened. To, that never happened. You know, normally I lock it, but like I said, I didn't do it this time. Um, but anyway, that was wild. That was wild. I was like. But anyway, um, so four fifty though. That's yes. And how and how 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 old were you at the time? Uh, th- thirty one. No, no, I was thirty. I'm tripping. My birthday. That's April. crazy. I just seen some other day on Big Pun. I didn't know he was that big. Mm-hmm. And you think about four fifty? I mean, yeah. You, the number it's a big number, of course. But you, when 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 you did on weight like me right now, like, I feel like this is my biggest I ever been in my life. Yeah. I'm not insecure about it though. Yeah. But I, I was one ninety nine yeah. before I. Um, had, had COVID though, and, um, and I lost a lot of weight from yeah. there. By 199, yeah, I went back a couple of days to get retested. I was 192. Yeah. I lost that much weight yeah. in like two days. Don't know how it happened, yeah. right? We lose weight fast. Hmm? Dudes lose weight. Oh, fast. I thought you said women. I say, damn, yeah. nigga, what's going on? Yeah. But um, I said to say 450. When you yeah. look at um, them people on my 600 pound yeah. life and all that stuff. For even though 450 ain't 600 pound, it ain't far from it. Yeah, yeah. It's a hundred. It's a, it's one body. Yeah. It's a you know that's that's yeah. one that's one little thick chick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, what was your mindset like when when they read you like the weight? Did you even know like what you, what you thought you weighed when you went there? About three forty so. Ooh, I, it, I, I, yeah. I, I, I was one hundred ten. Like that dude off on six hundred six hundred pound. Like dang. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was in disbelief. I was like, I I, I let myself go, bro. And like you said, but COVID, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And I was doing good, and I stopped, and I was like, man. But I'll be honest with you, man. Like when you say COVID, I'm not. Even, I never think about. I never think about overweight yeah, people yeah. when they're going through because, you know, you talk to some people that's not overweight, like technically speaking, I don't look overweight, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or I'd rather say obese. Maybe that's the best word. I don't know. Um, and you, we talk. So it's not like me and Slim might talk, and we might talk about how big we are sometimes, and we ain't. We ain't, yeah, we ain't yeah, really yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Slim, he getting, don't get me wrong, but we ain't really there. Yeah, yeah. And you think about COVID and you think about people like us that might have gained some weight, but I never thought about the the, the idea of somebody who was already overweight losing, like gaining more weight yeah. also because you just driving, like you said, you're driving yeah. trucks and paying bills. Mm-hmm. You, you're living your regular lifestyle, but now you chill yeah. more because it's, Cause, it's yeah, less gym, to do. Yeah, gym was close. Yeah, I, I, even, I don't want to go, that's not, yeah. that's how like, Sometimes you don't know how lucky you are to like have the metabolism you have or to have mm-hmm. the weight challenge you have with yourself. Because yeah. I don't go to the gym. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a membership for the hot tub. I do in a hot tub. The yeah. one that in a while is really nice, but I, I don't go to the gym. Yeah. I never I never go to the gym. I might play basketball for a week here or something like that, but I don't go to yeah. the gym. But I never had to. Yeah. So if, and some people like like say like yourself like 
just in order to stay afloat of whatever weight you had at the time, you probably had to go to the gym. Yeah, but I wasn't eating, eating crazy. That's the crazy part. Like, I just, I won't eat nothing at work. I be starving myself. I get home and then I eat. Go crazy. Yeah. And I won't go crazy. It's just like the stuff I was eating. But was you like, was eating and going to sleep too. Yeah, yeah. They say that's like, that, that's making mm-hmm. it worse. I mean, you eat. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not no health yeah. person. You know what I'm yeah. saying. I just. But people say yeah. you eat and sleep, you gain the most weight. Yeah. Don't know what it is. I don't know the science yeah. behind that. Yeah, Gatorade. I used to love Gatorade, bro. I used to drink like a gallon. Oh, Gatorade. Yeah. Okay. See, you got a lot of sugar in it. Gatorade is in, in Reese's. That's my. Which is funny because you you feel like because it's not soda mm-hmm. it's that you, a, a lot of you, sugar. you you feel like you drinking healthy. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. What about Powerade? Powerade got a lot of sugar. Yeah. In it? Same thing. Oh, damn. If it ain't zero, zero. I've calorie. been drinking Powerade the whole time. Yeah, you you know got look saying? at the. You gotta look at the readings and stuff. It's not gonna start reading or read the stuff. Again. See, that's that's another challenge that I don't have. Like, mm-hmm. I never, I never had to think about that. I ain't know it neither. I started doing my my research with that YouTube video. He was like, hey, so sugar once you start doing your research, you actually start like to not only eat well or you know, mm-hmm. you know, uh, exercise more and just yeah. live healthier, but you also start to look at what you're eating mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. And I never do that. Like, yeah. I don't do that at all. So like, I and I'm trying to get all the answers from you so that yeah. anybody that because yeah. it's somebody that's going to be inspired by this. Like, yeah. I'm inspired by the fact you lost 100 pounds. And I, I don't need to lose 100 pounds. Yeah. But I'm inspired that you was able to do that. Yeah. So even knowing how you did it, if I want to lose 20, I feel like, okay, well, he lost 100 doing this. Let me see if I can do the same thing with yeah. 20. That's why I'm asking you the same questions over. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. but, um, so like even this, like, I'm I'm looking at, I don't know how much sugar in there. Say 14 G, that's bad? Yeah, 14 grams. That's bad? Uh, I mean, it, it's I just, it's not it's not worse than all. It's ninety calories calories per serving. Yeah. So I don't know if this is bad, but I mean, I'm, I'm still eating. 14, it. I'm just sugar, know. fourteen grams. It's like if you got like a cup and you put all the sh- the cup in there, that's how much grams you eat. So this probably wouldn't be best to eat with a Gatorade nah, or Powerade. Nah. I have drinking that's a Powerade why they don't too. Like kids having candy because they that's how their teeth get like messed up because mm. of sugar. Yeah, I don't need a teeth problem either. Yeah. I probably prefer I have, I have a weight problem than a teeth problem. I ain't yeah. gonna lie though because. Yeah. Some yeah. you could fix that weight problem probably mm-hmm. easier than I think. Gra- I mean, it's okay. It's not. Now I'm eating still. Don't get me wrong, yeah, but yeah, I just yeah. want to know. I'm just, that's the first thing yeah, I saw yeah. with a thing on the back. So yeah, now I gotta start checking carbon, the back. Carbon, what is it called? Right here is it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, I'm the same way. <laughs> so whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah carbohydrate. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I mean, 22 grams. Yeah. Well, what is that? I don't know what that is. I, I'm assuming it's something bad. Yeah, 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 it's something bad. I think anything back here should be bad. Yeah, I think yeah, anything yeah. back here is bad. Now yeah. I think about it, because this is not. It's a nutrition fact, but it's really just showing yeah. you how bad the uh-huh. stuff you're eating is. That's what they should. Yeah. That's what they should say. Like, yeah. how bad is it? And it should just say everything on the bottom. Man, that. <laughs> it's cheap, man. This should say nutrition facts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think you're good? I got 22 grams. Nah, that ain't good, baby. All right, but um, so at what point did like what 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 made you keep going? Because I know, like I said, the first yeah. day, you know, the first couple of days, you, you determine whatever, right? Mm-hmm. At some point, almost like any relationship or anything like that, you start to um, fall back a little bit. Mm-hmm. So what made you, like, like give me some points where you felt like you wanted to stop, but you kept going, yeah. if if any, and give me some points where it was days where, like, I need two cheat days, not just one cheat yeah. day. Man, when I went to the doctor, my doctor told me, telling me I can't lose a certain amount of weight. I was like, all right. I'm not, I'm not sure you for who. Oh, I he didn't, he didn't believe you could do it. Yeah, like, I guess because it's like a, a, a health risk or something. But I said, all right, let me show you. I went back three. Oh, it was I go here three months. I lost like what about thirty pounds. Mm. In in three months. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. So February. Damn. Yeah, I, I lost hundred since February. But you went in three months. You lost thirty pounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You lose that weight, uh, that water weight fast. So that means you lost more weight since then, anyway. Because mm-hmm. that's only that's still seventy pounds yeah. left. They asked me how I did it. I was like, I just, I, I guess they be looking like shock or something. They thought I had surgery. I was like, nah, I just. Cut and then, let me ask you about that. Like, and I, I take it from what you did, but like, do you ever consider like, do you how much weight do you want to lose? I want to go back to my high school weight about two eighty. I'm at like three forty now, probably. So you even got that that much yeah, more to go, yeah. but it's gonna be hard to and, yeah, and keep that same weight. I just weight. want to be consistent. I if I if I don't lose more weight, I just want to just be healthier right now. That's all. So you don't have to be two sixty or two yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just you just want to be able to not have no health scares mm-hmm, and, and yeah, yeah. be healthy mm-hmm. with the decisions you're making yeah, and what you eat. Watch one of you, yeah. Is it is it tough? Like say like 
do you, you don't have no, you don't ever have a craving for something and you can't eat it that day because it's not a cheat day for you. And what does a cheat day consist of? Like, what what, what you mean when you say cheat day? Cheat that day. you eat whatever you want to eat. Yeah, you I want to eat Saturdays. I eat what I want to eat. Do every, so every Saturday you eat fried chicken? No, I don't eat fried chicken. I don't, all the pain, I like chicken wings. So I get some wings or a burger or something like that with some fries. I still drink I, the drinks. I still drink zero calorie stuff. Drinks. But let me ask you this, like, so could you used to mention the cheat day? What, like, what what went into you? Even not making not not so much making it a cheat day, but like determining what day it was going to be, and it being one day versus like, did you did you start with just one cheat day or you went hard first? No, I always give myself. You always gonna reward yourself Saturday, so I was like, I work hard all week. I'm gonna reward myself on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sunday you gonna get your mind right. Did you feel guilty? Like say the first week you do it, like the first week did you like? No, I'm going too hard. I can't do it. Some days you you feel guilty, but you was like. These folks that work drive me crazy. I, I deserve. I deserve this. I deserve to cheat me. I, I lost a couple pounds. I'm deserve this. People at work. Let me ask you that because they see you. And I always say like, especially when you when you get older, like mm-hmm. work is like everything because they gonna see you more than damn their family. Yeah, yeah. Probably more than your wife. You know. Yeah. People at work. Do they notice it yeah. or was it? Were they were they just as shocked when you posted? No, nah, I don't follow nobody. But they they notice it. It's like ask me what I did and stuff. They're like you look good and stuff. Cause you didn't put it on Facebook, right? Nah, I don't even put it. You gotta know your uh, audience, so. Nah, definitely. That was yeah, definitely a, yeah, a Twitter post, yeah. bro. That was definitely. I didn't know it was gonna blow up like that neither on Twitter. You know, I I just felt like I felt it because like me looking at, it, I'm like, you know, cause like yeah. you know how you see it, you see it a lot of time, but when you know when you actually see the person, mm-hmm. I know I can physically call you, see you, talk to you. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, yeah, I saw this it. is a true thing because yeah. I never, I in my life, I've never yeah. known nobody to be a certain way and then lose that much. Never. Man, you should see my inbox, man. Oh, they coming? They getting at you? Girls, dude, babies. Don't leave, don't leave my, your phone I, unlocked. I saw bro. my wife. I said, "Look at this girl. She like she pretty." I was like, "I know it." <laughs> like back in my day, I was. It's some badness out there. I ain't gonna flip. It. Oh, it's some bad. I was like, "Dang." Hey, that's but, funny as hell, bro. He said, "I'm ignoring." <laughs> I like that. It ain't worth it. But they just asked me how I did it and stuff like that. Um, but it's a lot. Of, it's crazy. It's a lot of people don't know, like. Was those good and was not good to eat? I didn't know that. I didn't know Gatorade was like bad like that. I'm I'm just finding out today. I don't yeah. like Gatorade. I'm like Powerade. Cause Gatorade. Yeah. You know it's funny. I just told my other day. I said, Yo, I like because I was sick and I'm mm-hmm. like just give me Powerades. Yeah. And then they got Gatorade. I'm like it's too sweet. Yeah. Now I know why. It's all that damn sugar. Yeah. But I, Gatorade always been too sweet for me. I like Powerade because it still got that water yeah, yeah, yeah. flavor to mm-hmm. it. But all but but what you getting at is pretty much water is the answer. Yeah. Not I mean, Gatorade. You still gonna need your sugar. I mean you still. You still need sugar in your body. You just can't go crazy with it. You, so let me ask you: like, you go, you go, you gonna go hard, and you you gonna go take that step and be a trainer? Are you training somebody? Nah, I or? Can't do all that, man. Nah, you you a motivational weight loser now. I can't. So you gotta, I can't you gotta, do that. It's too. Nah, I ain't no trainer, bro. I'm just, I'm just boss, man. You gotta put on, man. Yeah. That's, oh, let me ask you that. So yeah, you boss. So are we still? Do we still gotta call you big boss now, yeah. or should we call I'm you? Still always gonna be big boss, man. You, nah, you kind of medium <laughs> boss now. Everybody bro. say that, but that's my nah. name, man. You get down to 80, man, you can't call you big anything. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You get down to 80, you regular boss. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. You regular. That's crazy. I was, I was wondering, I said, damn, he going he gonna to lose the name. Everybody asked me that, but no, it's still boss, man. Wait, wait, but, but, but where Big Boss came from? Like, where did that derive from? I mean, everybody used to call me that at school. Big Boss or Big uh, Big Beast Mode. Big Beast Mode. Yeah. Yeah, we going to call you Beast Mode from yeah. now on. Yeah, that big, it's over now, man. <laughs> that's, that's done. That's yeah. done. And like I said, you know, and you even came to, I even came to the studio last year and I remember I, and you've been in, you've been here a couple times after I think yeah. about it and I never never thought to like I said you know somebody you know somebody big but you never yeah. think to say how much you weigh mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying it's never a thought it's just like whatever yeah I would always say 302 I would have never yeah. thought four I, I didn't never know. I never would have thought yeah, four like, I feel like four is like you can't walk yeah but I had like a like like I used to lift weights a lot too so how you feel now like being Hundred pounds lighter. Do you feel a hundred pounds lighter? Yeah, also, I feel good. Yeah. Like what you like? What can you like? What you do now that before you used to feel like I, I feel big, yeah. but now it's like you know I'm, I'm a little lighter now. It's, I can jump rope now. Yeah, I did see you doing yeah, that. Jump rope. Uh, just more energy at work and stuff. I don't be tired when I get like I don't really be tired when I get off like that. I definitely wanna um. 
I want you to get to your your weight goal, which yeah. I know you says two eighty. That's why I want to play you. Yeah. I don't want to play you big. I want I want I want no excuses. <laughs> I want to be able to play you straight up. Because you said you fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I yeah, want to. gonna play. Yeah, I'm gonna wait now. Now I'm definitely gonna. Wait. I'm yeah. glad. See, I'm a patient person. I'm not, I don't rush nothing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad now because I don't want no excuses. Yeah. So you'd be like, Nah, I was big then. Now I'm gonna get you at your lowest. Whatever lowest is, right, the right. minute you get to it, the next day I'm, I'm knocking on the yeah. door. Okay. Whatever, whatever you want to play at, you want to play at May Park or it don't, it don't matter. Uh, want to play on um, Warren Road. It don't Warren, matter. You know, Warren, whatever, whatever home to you. Okay. Olive Road, Warren Road. It don't okay. bother me. You know okay. what I'm saying? I want to play. I want to play <laughs> when you get right. Um, who I play? I played. Uh, I played Keldrick. That was um, slim and guy. He could play though. Oh, for real? Yeah, he's not. Nice. He can play. He can for play real? me though. But he can play. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I busted ass. <laughs> but he, he was nice. I had, I had we both had flip flops on the first time. Sure. Then he changed. I didn't change mine though. Yeah, yeah. Being worse the next time, but it's no big deal. Like right. you know, you know, that's the, that's the homie. He 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 accepted the challenge. It was the same day challenge. He yeah. came and played me, so I gotta give him respect. Um, Trying to play blue for some money, but blue trash, man. I already know you beat blue, yeah. you, and you beat him when you was yeah probably about four <laughs> yeah, four twenty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So definitely um <laughs> wanna 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 play blue, but he's scared to play me. He yeah. said he told me he's. Tell me he's gonna play me in October. I guess he's gonna drop. He dropped some weight too. Yeah, he's trying to do like UFC. Blue losing already. Now you you done, you done beat him in that. You done beat him yeah. back one night and beat him in weight loss. It's like, come on, Blue. Blue, you gotta step your game up, bro. Step your <laughs> step your game up, man. Got my man Big Boss out here killing you on all platforms, <laughs> man. Um, nah, but oh yeah, okay. Nah, but um definitely I think that uh yeah, you, even if you even if you just use this whatever, I don't care. But you should definitely probably talk more about it on your platform. Yeah. Uh, one thing I, I have done, and that's why I, I think my way of showing respect people is like reach out to them and tell them I was I'm thinking of them when doing a certain yeah. podcast. I think I did a podcast with some full play the other day, and you came to mind because like I said I'm trying to be stay away from sports sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I know they wanted to come on, so I did, and it was a dope thing. Like they, yeah. they talked about, it, it was fine. I didn't even think it was gonna be that good. But I had y'all in mind. Cause I'm like, well, they about to do this. I know yeah. they be doing the sports thing. But I definitely think y'all should look into probably getting some kind of one of them trainers or weight loss people, whatever. Cause I think your story is dope, and yeah. if, and it's, it's y'all podcast, so you would be covering your own story, mm-hmm. but just giving somebody a, a, yeah. a look or whatever. And then what I always do, I'm not gonna lie, what that does is it it, it makes them give you some free services too. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but but if you, you know just doing that would be dope. And um, yeah, like I said, I think that. It, I was definitely um, not surprised, but I was shocked and I was I was happy for you when I saw it. Yeah. I was that was dope. I think um, I don't know if I sh- I was sick at the time, so when I saw, I was like, "Oh shit, look at this nigga, man!" <laughs> you know Damn. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all I'm all dying over there, <laughs> and you getting right. But nah, it was it was definitely uh, dope to see because I it, nah definitely because I only see you um, when you post and stuff. So even not seeing somebody and then finally seeing a version of them is like, damn, that's crazy. Even yeah. today, looking at you like we're coming through the door, like I can even see it. Yeah. I started to tell you to bring a shirt, but I said, I ain't going to do all that because I know you still got a long way to go. Yeah. So I'd rather y'all do that. You know, I think that's something y'all could be doing yeah. or you could be doing on your on your platform. But that's definitely dope. Well, tell me, like, what, what's, what's up next for you as far as, as far as the weight loss, as far as the podcast, like in life? You, do, do you want kids at all or not? Yeah, probably about two more years. Man. Okay, yeah. I, that's a, that's a tough question to ask because yeah. you don't ever ask it and then somebody can't do it. You know, so so yeah. I was like I was unsure. But one thing about you, like, and I, I we spoke about it before, was that's funny because before we had we had different conversations before, but yeah. it was like um, you always tell people like my life good, I'm good, bro, my yeah. life good. Yeah. That's even funny too when you think about it because. <laughs> Even though it was, it really wasn't. When you yeah. think about it, because like if it was, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have to do all that stuff you had to yeah. do. But in hindsight, yeah, it still was good. You though. do got a lot of yeah. But yeah, I said yeah. you married, you, you got a job, you got a career. You know, you, you got bills to pay. Yeah. You got no worries, and yeah. like, you got a life partner, which most people would kill for. Mm-hmm. So um, definitely, I, I, I like I like that side of it. But it's like it's getting better now. Yeah. So even if it was good, it's gonna get better. So I wondered if you was gonna add a little, add a um, you know, a little football team or something nah, like I that. Do all that. Um, but what's next for you, like far as just life? Just keep going, man. Just keep dropping podcasts. Keep trying to lose weight. You know what I mean, that's all I can do, man. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got any predictions on football this year? I know, y'all, I know, y'all yeah. primarily do football. Yeah, we got fantasy. Uh, we're doing fantasy league this year, so we got that coming up. Who you think wins Super Bowl? It's, man, it's hard to say. Yeah, I think with football you gotta wait yeah, a gotta couple wait. weeks it's first. Hard to say. I mean, you could pick a team just off pick. I know it ain't gonna be the Falcons. I know yeah, that. I know that. Yeah, or the Cowboys. So yeah, we know that. We can, we can definitely x them two out. 
But the rest of the team, definitely, anybody got a fair chance except them. Um, I, do, I always say about the Falcons. I don't know if you're a Falcon fan or not, yeah. but no, if, if – Okay. But they, they got a bet. You know, if I'm a Giants fan, so we, we probably yeah. – we always been at odds. Yeah. But I just feel like the Giants, the Eagles, they all yeah, – both teams have better chances to winning yeah. than Cowboys and damn Falcons. Yeah. I don't know what it is about, the, about, they, about their luck. <laughs> I don't know who they got to do right by. But they just can't get it done. They're trash, man. I just read that damn the All American um uh show is about a yeah, uh, actually, I didn't even know that. For the Giants, yeah. His name is Spencer something. Mm-hmm. Spencer something. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not I, I I didn't grow up on football, but I know how to watch the game yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So um and I'm a big Giants fan. I, I never liked the Jets, always been a Giants fan. That's a jet color. I like that color, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but definitely a Giants fan. But yeah, man, it's it's just dope. Um, you know. Seeing that weight loss journey, mainly because I know people that want to lose just 25 pounds mm-hmm. and don't have the will to do that. Yeah. Like, them losing 25 is hard. I'm not saying that, that you know, yours was easy or that yeah. you just go out and work them, but you were just more determined. Yeah, you got it's a mindset, man. You got to just do it. Don't worry about what other people say. And I think that's the I think that's the best part of everything. Like, I seen you do a lot of stuff. You've been even more vocal now. You've been live a few times. You go yeah. live here and then do this, that, and third. So, like, everything you've been doing, yeah. it just makes sense of... What what life what like what what direction your life been going into, which yeah, is yeah. just healthy and more positive. So, um, however you, however you can keep doing that, yeah, <laughs> I would I would definitely recommend yeah, you just yeah, keep doing yeah. that. Yeah, I'm chilling on Twitter, man. Um, yeah, man. So this tell where they can find you at, man. Tell people about you know your podcast. Uh, y'all can reach us on Instagram, Clash at the Round Table, everything. Uh, y'all can reach me on Instagram, Big Josh Seventy Two or Big Boss. Just Anything, man. Just type it in. You got to change your name now, man. Yeah, just type it in. You got to change the name, man. Beast mode, boss. (laughs) Not big anything no more. (laughs) Also, last thing I want to say is, regarding the podcast, y'all got to stop posting. um, Y'all got to start posting videos longer than a minute. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes y'all cut the video off in the middle of somebody. I'm like, what the? Yeah. Like, What what was he going to say? I got to get that final um, cut thing, so. I'm doing you got an iPhone? iPhone? Yeah, I got an iPhone. Just get um, nah, just get um, iMovie. Trust me, I do the same. Yeah. I, I make I I make everything on iMovie, but yeah. I do do some of them. Yeah. The other one, the thing I just posted the other day on my story about Damo, I did it from yeah. my yeah. iMovie. It's okay, just okay. not hard. I'll show you if I have to, yeah. but yeah, definitely, man. Um, man, shout out to you, man, once again. I'm I'm proud that you appreciate you know, that. Appreciate I that. need some appreciate more. Let me come on. Nah, of course, man. Give me some more before I put. I'm, I'm probably put them in the thing. I might use the one from Twitter though, just yeah, in case yeah. if you can get them more, but. Yeah, man, I'm definitely I'm I'm happy that you did that, and I think that you're a good inspiration to people that's gonna lose ten, just gonna yeah, lose yeah. twenty, just gonna lose thirty. Like that's that's motivation. Yeah. If that ain't motivation for you, I don't know what it yeah. is, bro. So with that being said, man, hold it down. One Masters podcast, we out. Stop drinking Gatorade. Too much damn sugar in that Gatorade. <laughs> Drink some water, just a gallon. You heard it from Mister Negative Hundred Pounds himself. We out.